The Department of Justice giving some new details tonight about negotiations prior to the FBI's raid at Mar-a-Lago. ABC's M. Wynn shares details from the DOJ's response to former President Trump in our top story now at 5. In a detailed 36-page filing, the Department of Justice suggesting Donald Trump and his legal team intentionally misled FBI agents and DOJ officials during their investigation into whether the former president improperly handled government records after leaving office. The filing, a response to a motion from Trump's lawyers for a special master to review the materials seized from his Mar-a-Lago estate. The DOJ saying in May a grand jury subpoena was issued for classified documents at Trump's estate and that Trump's lawyers were even granted extra time to gather records. When FBI agents came to the resort in June, they were handed one envelope of classified documents, but one of Trump's lawyers barred them from searching any boxes in the storage closet. Not only did he not give them access at certain times, but they gave him extensions. That same day, two of Trump's lawyers certified in a sworn statement there was a diligent search and that all government records had been turned over. But the DOJ questioned that, saying that in just a matter of hours during the FBI's August search, agents recovered twice as many classified documents. Officials included this photo showing several documents labeled secret and top secret in bright red and yellow, recovered from Trump's personal desk. The DOJ alleging obstructive conduct occurred at Mar-a-Lago, claiming classified documents were likely concealed and removed from the storage closet by Trump's team. Trump today once again claiming without any evidence that he declassified any documents found at his Florida estate. The hearing set for tomorrow will allow a judge to consider arguments from Trump's lawyers and the DOJ whether to grant Trump's request for a special master. But first, he must respond to the Justice Department's filing by tonight. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington.